Hello YouTube, Sam here from youtube.com slash onlivegamer for the new Boston. And in this tutorial, we're going to be taking another look at structures and we're going to be working more on the program that we created in the last tutorial. Now, if you don't know what I'm talking about right here or what this uh, form is, then go ahead and move back one tutorial to, I think, tutorial uh, 68. And you'll see how to make this, uh, make what we've made so far. So we declared a structure and we called it customer. Then we created an object um, that is a customer, which is a structure. So now what we need to do is we need to uh, assign some values to the first name, last name, and email of this object customer. So we'll go ahead and click Lisp customer or button one click. So uh, let's go ahead and change this, the name of this to button list customer. Okay, so now we'll come back here and let's just go ahead and assign the first name, last name, and email of object customer whenever they click button one. We could do this when the form loads and we could do it outside of it, but let's just do it under button one click. So we'll type object customer and then we, if we use dot, you're going to see that we have, you can see all of the ones with the blue boxes right here. Now that stands for a variable. So we got email first name and last name. So we'll set first name equal to uh, Jim. And now we will set the last name equal to uh, Jones. And we'll go ahead and set his email to equals, uh, let's just do jones.jim at live.com. Okay, so now that we have set a value, I mean a, yeah, a value for each of the variables inside of the structure object customer, um, let's go ahead and add those, add the customer to these text boxes right here. So we could do this right on a button one dot click, but we want to use a uh, sub because this makes it easier to reuse code and we're not going to have to copy and paste which is a very bad habit that you don't want to get into. So what we're going to do is we are going to create a, a sub called display customer. Now what this is going to do is it's going to get our structure and it's going to add it to the text boxes. So we'll go ahead and type private sub display customer. And now for our arguments, we're going to have to pass a, uh, a customer object to it. So we'll just type by val. We could use by ref, but we don't want to accidentally change the values of object customer. So we'll just go ahead and make a copy of object customer by using by val. And it's just going to be used uh, in this sub. And then when the sub's exited, it's gone. So we'll just type cust as customer, which is the data type. So now what we're going to do is we are going to type text first name dot text equals cust, which is the customer object that is passed to display customer dot first name. Now we're going to do text last name dot text and we'll set that equal to cust dot last name. And now we'll do this one more time for the email. So text email dot text equals cust dot email. Okay. So now let's go ahead and run this and see what happens. So if we go ahead and click list customer, looks like we're getting an error here. Ah, no, never mind. We're not getting an error. We need to go ahead and call display customer. So whenever they click it, whenever they click uh, button one. It's going to call display customer and we will just pass object customer to that. So it sets the values of that and then displays it on the text boxes. Okay, so let's go ahead and run this. And if we click list customer, we get Jim, Jones, and jones.jim at live.com. So um, go ahead and make this program if you haven't already. Uh, you can play around more with the structures, see what you can do with it. And then once you have done that, 
you can go ahead and move on to the next tutorial. And in the next tutorial, we're going to be working more on this program. And then after that, we're going to be done with this program and we're going to be moving on to uh, other topics. So um, go ahead, I'll scroll up and down through this. You can go ahead and pause wherever you want if you want to see the code. So uh, thanks for watching, guys, and stay tuned for the next tutorial.